My name is Stephanie Hill. I'm a director in the product management group. So Touchstone's been around for four years now. We've introduced a lot of great features and functionalities. With the upcoming migration to MPP, we thought it would be a good time to just take a stop and look at what we already have existing, make sure that the functionality meets our clients' needs, and make sure that everything that we already have works very well, performs optimally, and is robust. And a lot of clients had asked for certain specific changes to existing functionality, so we wanted to make sure that we were listening to the clients and implementing the things that they need to do their jobs better. My name's Alan Frith. I'm a manager in our consulting and client services group. Our clients have consistently reported that the log files uh, were too large and contained too much information that, that wasn't useful for the tasks that they were working on at that point. Um, so we, we broke the log file up into a couple different pieces uh, to focus on the individual tasks that you're using a log file for. Um, and we also cleaned up the actual logging itself to introduce a code for each import validation error. Um, that's going to allow you to quickly tie out individual errors to the problems in your exposure data and allow you to fix them and get the data imported a lot more quickly and efficiently. Performance improvements have been a focus of every single one of our four touchstone releases, uh, but this time we had a secret weapon. So our developers came up with a tool that allowed us to measure the calls that were going from the touchstone client to the backend systems and see which ones were taking the longest time, see whether there were any blocking calls, and it really allowed us to drill in and focus on the areas that really needed to be addressed so we were able to do this much more efficiently this time. We're going to continue to use that functionality as we move forward to make sure we don't lose any performance. There's a lot of great features in 4.0. Um, the model releases I think are obviously very important, uh, being able to update the U.S. terrorism model, introduce international deterministic terrorism, and those updates to the Southeast Asia uh, models are all really important. Um, in terms of the actual software, uh, the delete functionality, we re completely re-architected that. Um, it allows you to clean up the, the data in your environment much more quickly and efficiently. There are a lot of great features in Touchstone 4.0, too many to talk about in this video, but there are a couple that I think are really going to be helpful for people's uh, workflow, and one of those is the ability to save losses by model and by peril. That's going to allow you to do a multi-peril analysis, which is only one run, and then you can break out the break out the results by peril or by model when you're looking at those. Um, the other one is just the ability to have the auto refresh capability. So a lot of people are used to doing the click, click, click on the refresh button in the activity monitor. So this is real time, real fast, and I think you're going to see that that's going to help you a lot in your workflow.